Now, as we see the opening of a fresh National Assembly, why don't we zoom in on some interesting facts about the Korean Parliament? For instance, did you know that there are wine bottles buried under the Assembly building in Seoul? Well, there is much more than that. Our Shin Se-min reports. The 20th National Assembly started its term this Monday, with 132 new lawmakers, or 44 percent of the 300 lawmakers who will serve their four-year terms. For their service, they roughly make 115,000 U.S. dollars per year, or over $9,600 every month. The place where they work, the National Assembly, located in Yeido, was built in 1975 and is the largest parliamentary building in Asia. It takes up one-eighth of Yeido, the island that serves as Seoul's financial district. The main entrance to the parliament is guarded by two hete, or mythical unicorn lions, that are ancient symbols of protection in Korea. Buried under are 72 wine bottles, 36 on each side, which will be opened either to mark the reunification of two Koreas or commemorate the 100th anniversary of the National Assembly's founding. The main parliamentary building also has a symbolic meaning. The 24 pillars that wrap around the building signify the 24 seasonal divisions in the traditional lunisolar calendar and serve to remind lawmakers of their duty to take care of domestic affairs for all 24 seasons. Topping the building is a round turquoise dome that symbolizes amicable legislative relations among all political parties. At the hall where plenary sessions take place, the lawmakers work under 365 light fixtures, symbolizing a full year of legislative activity, yet another of the symbols on the National Assembly grounds. It'll be up to the lawmakers to decide whether these symbols align with their legislative work and their mission to serve the people. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.